In plate tectonics, we are looking at processes that are changing Earth's surficial appearance, primarily looking at the location of continents over time and the location and size of ocean basins as they change through time. An important thing that you'll want to be able to do in an intro geology lab is to identify plate boundaries on a map. Now, there are several different ways that the boundaries may appear in a map, uh, but what I'm going to show you is sort of the most common appearance that you will see. So convergent plate boundaries often result in subduction, and subduction is expressed as a line with what we call teeth sitting on it. And when you see this, the plate that is subducting would be on this side of the margin. The overriding plate that often has the volcano's form on it has the teeth on its side. So we know here's the overriding plate, here is the subducting plate, here's the overriding plate, here's the subducting plate, uh, all throughout those boundaries that we can see on this map. Divergent plate boundaries are often given as solid lines through an ocean most typically, but they can exist also within continents. And transform plate boundaries here, they're given as a, a separate color moving through, uh, they're also often given as dashed lines. And again, transform plate boundaries often are cutting across divergent plate boundaries. So if you have a long divergent plate boundary and you see there's offsets in it, those offsets are your transform plate boundaries. So you should be familiar with how to identify plate boundaries on a map and do some sketches and notes from what you've seen in this video in preparation for a plate tectonics lab in an intro geology course.